congratulations on your score uh thank you thank you when you started out you know so how did you choose jambore um so i had like uh, you know i had been hopping around with the um, in hudson lane in some coaching centers and uh, then i went to jambore and um, there i met amit and he guided me really well and i was with my dad so we both made a conscious decision about which center to choose ultimately and um, at that time the classes were going online which was also very comfortable for me so that is why i decided to go ahead and they also offered me like trial classes to make a decision on you know like whether this is the right fit for me or not and like both my teachers i think arslan sir and uh, vishal sir if i remember correctly yeah they they both were like really helpful in the first class itself which is why i decided to like continue with my classes so uh, yeah. when did you start your exam prep and when did you you know take the exam i started with the coaching in december 2020 and it went on the classes went on till april and i took my exam in august what are the top 2 3 things that you liked about the, the you know coaching with jambore i think the first and the most important thing for me was the doubt sessions that we had and you know like the professors the teachers were never really reluctant of answering our questions even though the time was less after classes you know because 3 hours for one session every week and you know you have to teach a lot so but i think the teachers were always very willing to answer all the questions i had and um, the cohort size of the class was really small it was like 20 to 25 students which makes it easy for the teachers to pay attention to every student so i think these two were the main things and then obviously the content is uh, something very important and you know i felt that the the book material provided was good and we also had the access to an application for learning vocabulary which also helped that after your exams obviously you decided to go with your applications at this stage you know why did you decide to go with jambore when i started learning with them there was already a sort of trust that was built because um i had a good experience with the teaching staff and then again i obviously consulted amit at the hudson lane branch and uh, you know he was telling me with all the things that jambori can help me with uh, in the counseling like right from shortlisting universities then telling me my safe admits my dream schools and like you know out of reach schools and uh, helping with the sops lors visa process etc and you know actually helping me deciding which school to go to so i think these were there were certain items on my checklist which which all got ticked when i had the conversation with amit so i and you know as i mentioned earlier i was already um, with jambori for the past 4 months um for the gre preparation so there was i think there was sort of a trust that was already built in my head with respect to this Uh, which is why i decided to continue um with with the application counseling as well so uh, which colleges did you apply to and uh, where did you get admitted so i applied to three schools i applied to cornell university i applied to duke university and i applied to dartmouth college and i got admits from cornell and duke so congratulations that's uh, those are like huge schools Yeah. So, uh, which college will you be going to finally? I'm still deciding actually okay. because uh, I've decided to defer my admission for one year. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so that I just get some time to choose because they're all both very big schools and you know great opportunities in my life. And um, I think a master's uh, application is a big stepping stone, and you know I need to be like very cautious in the college that I'm choosing. That's great. That's great. So, what's the program that you applied for in each of these colleges? Uh, so I've actually applied for engineering management program and uh, right. specifically towards the data analytics and machine learning uh, discipline, like the stream that we have. What is your academic background? What are uh, the bachelor's degree that you have done? So I've actually done a bachelor's in computer science engineering. Right now, I'm in my final year, about to complete soon, and I'm studying in Hong Kong. So I'm not actually uh, studying in India. I did my schooling from India, and then for my bachelor's, I came to Hong Kong. So which uh, college in Hong Kong you were studying at? Um, so I'm studying at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Not sure if you've heard of it. Yeah, yeah, CUHK, famous. You know, we are pretty in a lot. We are our students go to CUHK for their MBAs also actually. Yeah, actually, CUHK is very well known for its MBA and computer right. science program. So, okay. 
So um, from uh, computer science, so why engineering management, <laughs> data analytics, you know, why not go down, you know, continue the part of computer science? Here in Hong Kong, I got the opportunity to work at JP Morgan. So in a bank environment, but um, in the technical scope, which kind of introduced me to the financial services industry and the management style also. So I realized that just with the technical skills, I won't be able to, you know, like just rise up in the corporate ladder. So, which is why I felt that having a touch of management was very important, which is why, um, you know, like engineering management also offers a couple of other streams, like, you know, there's product management, there's uh, entrepreneurship, but I yeah. still wanted to stay in touch with technology, which is why I chose the stream of data analytics and machine learning. But engineering management would give me the edge in terms of the management part. So like I was more towards being able to hold a managerial position in a technical industry. So that is why I tried to make this shift. Plus I was not very interested in software engineering. No, that's, uh, that's very interesting actually. That's very interesting. Otherwise we have students from all different types of engineering wanting to go into computer science, but you like from computer science, you plan, you know, you wanted to diversify a bit, you know, and not go into hardcore coding. Uh, very, very interesting. <laughs> so, so yeah. when did you decide to do your master's? Actually in June, 2020, I was thinking that, you know, I should go for my master's also, but uh, at that time I felt it was too early because I had just finished my year two and, you know, I was not sure what I want to do. Like, you know, I was still in the middle deciding whether computer science is my thing or not. And then um, by the end of it, as I said, you know, like by December 2020, I was like kind of sure that, you know, at least I need to take the first step towards um, getting closer towards my master's uh, aspirations. Um, I took the GRE and uh, like took the classes and all. I wouldn't say it was the best possible score for me because I, I had sort of expected better, but certain things worked for me that, you know, GRE was exempted that year. And uh, so for Cornell, for Duke, for Dartmouth, all these colleges. So that worked for me in a certain manner. And uh, if it, it wasn't, I would have taken another attempt at GRE because I definitely wasn't very satisfied with my score. But uh, yeah, it all, all's well, that ends well. <laughs> Right, right, right. That's what, you know, so a good score is a score that gets you in, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. So um, uh, when you started working with Jamburi, so uh, who was your admissions counselor? So my admissions counselor was uh, Mr. Sudhir okay. and uh, my writer was Ms. Ms. Amrita, I think. Oh, okay, okay. And um, uh, what was your experience, you know, working with uh, this admissions team? Okay, um, I just have to like say this in the beginning. I had a very good experience with, with Miss Amrita. She, she was actually there to help me out every single day. Like, you know, I know because she's writing essays and SOPs for so many students, but uh, I just had a very positive experience with her because she was very prompt with her email also with me. I don't know if that's the case with every student. And um, I had kind of mentioned it to her that, you know, I don't have that much time to like write a briefs for you. So maybe you can just get on a call with me and I'll explain it to you verbally and you can take notes. And she did that for me. So, and, and I think that wasn't, like that was not in the policy, maybe like, you know, maybe uh, Jamboree asked students to like, you know, give them up with some notes and some write up so that that can help them draft a SOP. But I had just told Amrita that, you know, I don't have the time to write down pointers for you. So let's get on a call and I'll connect with you and I'll tell you whatever, like, you know, whatever you want to know about me. And then you just draft an SOP and we can discuss whether this is the perfect fit for me. So I think I just had a great experience with Amrita. Um, with Sudhir also, I had a good experience. Um, I think he shortlisted universities for me. And, you know, once he got to know that my GRE wasn't up to that mark, he like tried to amend the list also. But when I told him that I'm just in, very interested in going to the high school, like high, highly ranked schools, because um, I personally feel that, you know, when I'm investing so much money and, um, and like American education is not cheap. It's really expensive. Right, 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 right. So uh, I should apply for the top schools and uh, it's, it's, it's my, it's my luck or, you know, yeah, it's my fortune if I get into them or not. But uh, he didn't try to like discourage me that, oh, you don't have a good GRE score to apply to that schools. 
so right. continued with that and uh, then like you know they gave me the time like i had to take my toefl as well so they gave me the time for that also that you know let's just put a pause on applications and you should work on your toefl uh, exam so all in all i had a good experience sudhir so was a good counselor amrita was fabulous yeah <laughs> Yeah, Amrita has a quite a huge fan club actually. No, I hear this from all her students. Yeah, yeah. No, she was she was actually very sincere. I think, and um, I think she was down with dengue also in between. But after that, she picked up really well. And uh, the good part was that we started really early on my profile. Like once the applications were out, we were like really quick in you know applying and finding the writing the SOPs, getting the LORs, etc. So. So again, you know, um, during this whole application process, it was a long journey. It's a usually a very long journey. The whole right from shortlisting the universities to getting the documentation to the online application. It's a pretty long journey. So, at this, uh, was there any time, you know, when you uh, were, uh, when you felt that okay, uh, that yes, you know, uh, when I joined Jamboree and I'm grateful that I joined Jamboree. I'm thankful that I have Jamboree to you know help me through this uh, process. I think. especially with the writing part i would again say that because um applying is not something that i did for the first time because like when i was applying for my bachelor's also i was applying abroad so i was kind of aware of the process as to you know like how to apply right. what was needed and everything but again like i didn't have the time to write an sop and uh, you know draft one lor because like one of my professor wasn't willing to write it herself Okay. and um, like write any short essays so i would say that that is something i couldn't have done myself okay. and um, i i think for sudhir's part for uh, his main part for me was actually just reviewing my application which is again a good che- like check you know because um, i mean at the end of the day i'm a student and i'm like just doing it for the second time in my life so i might make mistakes and uh, it's always good to have another person checking it for me so so that there's validation that what i did was correct so if you have to give uh, advice to other students who are thinking of you know applying abroad uh, or taking the gre etc so what would uh, be your advice i think first i can say about the application it's important to start early it's very important to start early because like there was a lot of my peer group also that was applying and i could see them that at the in december or in january they were they were packed with applications and you know at that time everything happens like you have your college exams you have these application deadlines coming up so and i was like chilling i was i had finished all my applications by october and early november so i was all free and i could focus on um, my final exams so it's very important to um, like you know focus a uh, start early um another thing i would say is that like even if you spoil and mess up your gre it's not the only factor determining your admission you know there are a lot of things like i probably didn't have a very good gre score but i had a couple of great internships a uh, great bachelor's education a good gpa so all these things matter some extra curricular activities you know you should involve in some community services even one or two you should have things to stay uh, say like i was involved in a women for technology club in hong kong so that had a very great impact on my application because i could say a lot of things about it yeah yeah, yeah. No, I think the profile is very important. These top schools they have no dearth of applicants with high GRE scores. You know, so they are what they are looking for is like how are you going to add to the diversity of the class? You know, how what are you going to bring on board? So the uh, that's one thing that students don't realize that they have to work on their profile also. You know, yeah. uh, not just the uh, exam, not just the GRE exam. So yeah, and so, when you're not applying for like. like courses like computer science and when you're focusing more towards managerial courses i think interviews also play an important role oh, yeah. because i was also shortlisted for a couple of interviews so i my application was not the only part that determined it like i had to do well in the interview stage as well like i I've, i've seen all of my computer science friends who just apply and then they just get their result but it was a bit different for me like i had to apply and then i had to take an interview as well so So uh, you probably had an interview with Duke, right? I had with Cornell. Duke okay. interviewed some people this year for the profiles, ah. which think, uh, which they thought were like direct admits. They didn't interview them, so okay. I just got a direct result from them. Yeah. Ah, uh, but you had uh, an interview with Cornell. Yeah, I had with Cornell. How was? How did that go? 
my interview with cornell was good actually it was very short it was 15 20 minutes um i think the 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 program team is really sweet and you know they're not sitting there to threaten you they everyone's really nice and it's just a general conversation they'll just ask like you know why do you want to join this program and tell introduce yourself and you know why this college so basic questions like that i think we can just if you like you know if you're thorough about your sop and actually why do you want to join the program i think interview is not very difficult to crack yeah no, i mean they just want to see that your interest in the program is genuine you know so yeah. not just because it has a high rank or whatever you know? yeah so 